We're in a race against climate change. We need to completely transform our energy system and fast. It's us against the clock, and right now, we're losing. To limit warming to a safe level, we'll have to bring U.S. electricity sector emissions down to zero by 2050. Meaning that goal requires all the low carbon tools we have. That includes renewables and efficiency, but also nuclear energy and carbon capture. When any of these technologies are cut from the mix, the goal becomes harder or impossible to reach. We can think of it like a relay race. We want to build a team with the fastest runners that can go the distance. And each runner has strengths that we'll need to finish the race in time. Let's start with nuclear, which gives our team a huge head start as our largest zero carbon energy source. If we protect our existing plants, we can focus our efforts on displacing carbon heavy fossil fuels. If we take them out of the race, we fall behind. Wind and solar are essential zero carbon technologies, and they're the world's fastest growing energy sources. But since they aren't on all the time, they'll need help to finish the race, even with affordable battery storage. New advanced nuclear reactors could be another powerhouse of low carbon energy that's on whenever you need it and can fill in when our renewables teammates need backup. The biggest hurdle in this race will be cleaning up fossil plants. Coal's on the decline, but we're still building natural gas plants that could be around for decades. Carbon capture is the only way to cut emissions from these remaining plants and stay on pace to win the race. Once we win in the power sector, these runners will also be critical in winning even tougher races in transportation and industry. For example, we'll need the team to supply clean power for more electric vehicles and outpace emissions from tricky industrial sources like steel and chemical plants. We're in an energy race and the stakes couldn't be higher. If we harness the abilities of all of our low carbon options, we stand a much higher chance of beating the clock. Get the details at thirdway.org forward slash energy race.